And there are an awful lot of new faces and new places to report about. So I thought it'd be interesting just to go back and look at what happened. Now, Deshaun Watson did play in that first Cleveland game. He did. Oh, wow. he got booed. And by the way, uh, Deshaun Watson now becomes public enemy number one in the NFL. I do not think, even in Cleveland, I don't think he'll be rewarded with fan support. And when they go on the road and he comes back to the Browns in December, it's going to be vicious in every stadium that he plays in. So, but he was one for five, seven yards passing in his first game with the Browns. He just he looked out of control. He looked very uncomfortable. He looked rattled. So that was a bit of a bit of a surprise. Now, amongst the other quarterbacks, the guy that stole the thunder the first preseason game, Pittsburgh Steeler number one draft pick Kenny Pickett. And you know, oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, you yeah. you know the Steelers have to replace the retiring, the legend, maybe a Hall of Famer in Ben Roethlisberger. Well, they drafted Ken Pickett from the University of Pittsburgh. It was a bit of a surprise pick that he was taken. Ken Pickett came off the bench in the second half of the Steelers game last week, completed his first nine passes. Nine in a row. Nice. And he finished 13 for 15 showing it with two touchdowns. Now, that's a pretty impressive debut. I don't care that he was playing against the 58th player or the 88th player on somebody else's roster, and those guys are going to get cut. This is his first game as a pro. And the response today, uh, Mike Tomlin was asked, what's next for Ken Pickett? Well, Tomlin says, next game, he's going to play against the varsity, which means he's going to play in the second quarter, and he'll play starters with starters. It'll be interesting to see how he does. So that was pretty impressive. Not an impressive start for a couple of other kids on that draft board. Uh, Malik Willis, a uh, young quarterback, maybe the future quarterback, Tennessee Titans, looked panic stricken. He was 6 for 11, 58 yards passing, ran the football way too much. You can't do that in the league. He's going to wind up in the hospital. He was just really frantic. I think he was just overwhelmed. Now, he's not, I don't think he's going to play this year unless something catastrophic happens uh, to Ryan Tannehill in Tennessee. Um, interesting, Des Ritter, University of Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Now, he hung on the draft board, John, to the third round. Atlanta took him. Desmond Ritter is supposed to sit and learn behind Marcus Mariota. His first game, he had 79 yards passing, 58 yards rushing, and led the Falcons to two touchdowns. Now, most of this was in the second half. That's a pretty pretty decent start for a kid who had really good statistics mm -hmm. uh, at the University of Cincinnati. Uh, one guy that did not do well was Carolina's Matt Corral. He's the quarterback from Ole Miss. One for nine. Talk about panic stricken. Mm -hmm. I can imagine him on the pocket. What is going on around me? This is not like playing at Mississippi. Right. One for nine. He's not very good. So there's an awful lot of work to be done uh, with him. Well, how about how about in Denver? Uh, Josh Johnson. I heard did really well in the fir first week of the preseason. Josh Johnson might might get a plaque in the Hall of Fame for having been under contract to the most teams in the league. He's played for like 13 different teams, been under contract, never ever really been a starter. He's a backup. He's an insurance policy. He's at University of San Diego. But it's really, it's really funny. Uh, but he, you know, he can be on somebody's roster and he might buy you some time, mm -hmm. but he's not going to start in the league because that is Russell Wilson's team. Now they're not playing Russell Wilson uh, during the preseason. A couple of other notes. You're talking about young quarterbacks. Jordan Love, Green Bay. Now that's the future mm. beyond. Aaron Rodgers in a couple of years. Now, he's been there two years already. First game, much to Aaron's chagrin. Uh, it doesn't matter. Aaron got his money, and Aaron got his way. And, uh, but I'll tell you, not not an easy time for Jordan Love. Three interceptions in his first preseason game as Green Bay can So there was an awful lot of work. Somebody already is in the program. It's not like he just got off the bus and has gone through one mini camp and has been asked to play. I mean, this was live fire. He threw three interceptions. He did throw a couple of touchdowns, so that was that was kind of strange. Uh, Seattle, uh, you know, it's a big debate because there's no Russell Wilson there anymore. And what what should happen in Seattle? Well, they they played Geno Smith and Drew Locke. Those are the two guys competing for the starting job, and they both played really well. Uh, they won from twenty-one to thirty, two or three. That's pretty productive. So Pete Carroll was was pleased. And then Pete Carroll is ready to let Drew Locke be the starter this week, as Geno Smith started last week. Mm -hmm. Drew Locke tested positive for COVID yesterday. Oh, man. So he's out of the mix for at least five days, if not a little bit longer. Lucky for him, he was vaccinated. So how long is Geno Smith in the league? 
Uh, the ex, you know, he was a high number one draft pick out of West Virginia, fell down the draft board. He came from kind of a unique, he was a systems quarterback that worked for what West Virginia's Mountaineers ran. Mm-hmm. And he's just, he's bounced all over the place. He started a little bit with the New York Jets. He's not started in Seattle. He's played a bunch when Russell Wilson was hurt. So I would assume maybe he's going to be the starter. But I look at Geno Smith. He just hasn't been an NFL established quarterback. He's been in the league, I'd say, at least five years. So to me, the term is just a guy. Uh, I'm fascinated by Drew Locke because he had a great career at Missouri. And you saw when he was in Denver, John, he saw flashes and said, boy, this guy is impressive. Mm -hmm. But then you see him put balls in the places he should never, ever be thrown at. Now, maybe that's a byproduct of being a a quarterback in Mm -hmm in the first or second year. So that's a that's a quick summary of what happened the first weekend of the NFL uh, with the quarterbacks and Spurs watching because you got weekend games this weekend, then you got next weekend, and then comes the start of the season.